Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do uh, the daily vibes for around the 13th. It would be Friday the 13th, but keep in mind the timing is fluid just because I'm doing it for that day. This is just my daily show, okay? So, you know, the timing is fluid. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. Let's just see. There could be some friction. There could be some friction. By the looks of things. Hmm. What's going on? Moment of decision. Yeah. Two of Wands. What are you going to do? You're at that crossroads. You know, sitting on that fence. You got a decision to make. Do you want to you wanna stay or do you want to go? Do you want to stay or do you want to go? Do you want to stay home or do you want to go? Do you want to stay here or do you want to move forward? What's the choice? There's a choice here. There is some sort of, a, there's a level of detachment as well. It's like, huh, I got this opportunity here. But I'm, uh, you know, in order for me, I'm going to, do I go get it or not? Do I stay stuck? Do I stay here? Do I step forward? So, yeah, it's, there's a moment of decision. Somebody's going to be presented with an option on this day. There, obviously, there's always options every single day. Now, the Two of Wands, you know, if you if you were to picture, and I'm picturing one particular deck. It's not this deck where, you know, the grass is, is really green over there. It's like over there, over yonder. It looks really, really, really good. But in order to get over there, you're going to have to step into unknown territory and, and leave something behind as well. So we ha we're having somebody that is, you know, it's like they have this great big opportunity right in front of them. It's, it's, in, it's in sight. It's like you see it. You see it. You see this opportunity. But in order to get it, you, you it's kind of like yesterday with that rainbow thing. It's very, obviously, it's very similar. Now that just came to me. It's like, oh, it's the same kind of thing. So the energy hasn't left. It, the energy is still here. We have somebody here that is struggling. They're struggling to um, get to that place that they want to go. It's like they see it. They see now it's really in sight. It's like it's right there. It's right in front. You can actually see this. Okay. It's so close. But there could be some sort of fear. Okay. I'm not sure what this fear is. Or maybe, well, I think it is fear. I think it is fear. Um, hmm. Fear of commitment. Are we going to have a repeat here? Four of Wands reversed. Fear of commitment or. Um, fear of, uh, I don't know if it's fear. It could be uh, a relationship that is no longer on the same page. Um, there's some sort of commitment issues, okay? This is the honeymoon is over. The party is over. Uh, a lack, there's nothing to celebrate. It's cleanup time. You know, There's there's been probably, you know... Uh, it was good for a minute, but now it's over. So something is over. Something is over. It might have been fun, but it's not fun anymore. Ooh, Knight of Swords reversed. Now this is fear. There is fear of commitment here. There's fear of commitment or not wanting to be in a commitment. Now, that could be just not wanting to be. Not wanting to be married. Um... The Knight of Swords reversed is is uh, uh, somebody that is uh, places blame or doesn't accept responsibility. This person is ignorant. Is that somebody that is ignorant. Um, let me get one more card to go. Ooh. Okay. So uh, upset. Somebody is going to be upset. Or they are upset. They, it's definitely about commitment here. Somebody is af afraid of commitment. Or they don't want to get married. <laughs> this is a marriage card and this is a marriage card. And this is fear. So we got some, Or I, they just don't want to anymore. They could be upset. They, they're they not honoring their truth. Because that's the sort of truth in that Knight of Swords uh, hands. Okay. And it's reversed. There's some sort of dishonesty here. Somebody's not telling the truth. They're not, they may, they may, they may be in a commitment and they're not telling somebody, you know, they could be lying. Okay. They could have a liar here. You could have somebody that is, um, leading somebody into a dangerous situation. They may already be in some sort of commitment. 
Um, the hair font reverse now under a lot of social pressure. We have somebody here that is under social pressure. They may, they may not. Now, if you think about this, this is somebody, there is definitely a relationship that is not on the same page. We have somebody here that blames everybody, doesn't want to be held accountable, um, is always looking for a fight. This person is a know-it-all. This person is ignorant. They lead other people into danger. They're insincere. We have somebody here that is not being sincere. They're not. They're not being sincere. They're not following their gut. They're nice, just not wanting to be in a commitment anymore. They're lying. They're not telling. Somebody is not telling the truth. It's not fun. This isn't fun. It's not fun anymore. Something like that. Um, now, this is poor counsel as well. Somebody may have received some poor counsel. Or they're worried about social media. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to tell everybody. Social pressure is big here. We have somebody here that just doesn't want people to know. They don't want people to know that they're in some sort of commitment, or they don't want people to see. But there's there's hmm. Hierophant reverse. Being controlled. Feeling disgraced. Yeah, embarrassed. It feels like we have somebody here that is, well, they may be staying in a situation or, or not getting in a situation because of social society. Okay, society is controlling their happiness. Somebody is thinking about uh, moving forward, they're moving home. They're thinking about it. It's like it's, it is about relocation. They're thinking about what their next move is. Um, they're realize it's like they realize that there's no more growth here. They realize that it's time to go someplace else. They do know it. This person, somebody is thinking. They're thinking about moving forward. They're ready. They're ready to move forward, but there's definitely some sort of fear. And social social pressure to stay, you know. So somebody is suffering. They're suffering, um, and and it's like they're hurting themselves by not honoring their truth. They're in some sort of uh, commitment. It is a commitment, or some sort, or they're not, or they're refusing to get into a commitment. I'm telling you what, society is in control here. Social pressure is in control. We have we have an individual who is 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 thinking hard about um, going someplace else. They're, I think they're thinking about something um, lack of closure. There's something in the past. They're thinking about something in the past. Because the world card is reversed. There's unfinished business. We have somebody here that is, is thinking about uh, communicating or thinking about um, something has ended. Something that has ended. This is an ending. This is a relocation. This is putting in effort, working really hard. We have a hard worker here. This person is a very hard worker, working on um, their business, working on their job, maybe burying themselves, burying themselves in their work. Trying to make something work. But they know that there's there's no opportunity here. There's no more growth. It's time to go someplace else. We have somebody here that is trying really hard to make something work that appears to be loveless because there's no love here. Okay, this is like a a loveless situation. Okay, there's no love here. So it, 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 it may look good on the outside. It may look like a happy home. You know, it may look like, you know, on the outside, this looks really, really good. It looks like it's stable. It looks like it's happy, but it's not. On the inside, it's really, really not happy. So I feel like we have somebody here that is struggling, okay? I feel like this person is struggling to, uh, remember we said the two of wands, 
to stay or freaking amazing. That just came back to me to stay or go. That is the moment of decision. So we are having somebody here that is thinking about, you know, uh, owning up to their truth, ending something, okay, releasing, uh, putting in effort to move forward, to release, to start a new life. So we, we have this person that is really thinking long and hard. And this, and this has to do with commitment. It has to do with commitment. And it could go both ways. It's, this is all about commitment. It's about commitment and it's about happily ever after. Okay? It really is. So we have somebody here that is, is very discontent with their current circumstances. There's a lack of success where they're at, but on the outside, it looks good. It looks like they're successful. It looks like it's stable. It looks like it's very comfortable, but on the inside is not at all what it looks like, okay? On the outside, it's not. I feel like we, we, we've had some meddlers here. We've had people that have been giving their opinions. They have expressed themselves, and this the person that is staying in this their own situation that is not making them happy has received some poor counsel. This is poor counsel. They've received poor counsel from some people or some person that is not enlightened. Okay, these people are not enlightened. They don't have they, they don't have the the expertise or they're not very spiritual or maybe that person really isn't committed or isn't looking for a commitment or that person um is clueless because this is clueless a knight of swords in reverse is somebody that is clueless so we, we and and you know whether it's you or the person you're dealing with or the people that are in the mix there are some people here that may have you know you may have thought they were your friends. They, you may have thought they had your back. You may have thought that they were giving you good advice, but they weren't. Okay, they weren't. These people may have given some sort of person or people may have given some advice to, you know, go someplace else, you know, whatever. And it's not what your heart wanted. Anyhow, I feel like this is meddlers. Okay, this is meddlers. And this is the party is over. Seriously. We got the party is over twice, okay? So, so there's this is this is this is uh, you know it's it's definitely cleanup time. It is. Um, I think there's going to be some sort of termination with this card. There's going to be a termination or an ending, okay? There's an ending, perhaps of a situation that just isn't. It's not love. It's not making somebody happy. Somebody may have gotten into it prematurely to fill a void of some sort. Um, I do feel as though in the next, I don't know. I would say it's very, 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 very soon. The 13th. Look at that. That is the 13th for Friday the 13th, right in the middle. We have a new beginning. Okay. This is a profound change. Okay. So this is an ending that allows a new beginning so we have a new beginning that is coming somebody is going to be receiving uh, communication from somebody who has been thinking about putting in effort they've been thinking about proving themselves uh they've been thinking about um long term they've been thinking about a commitment they've been thinking about marriage or they've been thinking about um happily ever after this has to do with happily ever after it really does with the world card reverse this is um this is this is somebody that needs an attitude adjustment there's no positive change that will come from staying in an unhappy situation and there's a lot there's definitely some unhappiness here so therefore we have somebody here that is stuck they are stuck and they're not learning from their mistakes and they're and it feels like they're stuck because of the assets because of the stability of it it's it's something to hold on to so somebody is stuck or they're stuck in their situation because they're afraid of commitment it could go either way but this is about commitment so in the next day or so commitment is going to be the main focus do you want it or not that is the question here so there's an opportunity for something permanent. There is with the Ten of Pentacles. This is something permanent. This is um, success. Um, so this is this is a long-term um, 
stability, okay? Uh, but it is a ten, so it is the it is the the ending. So I think there's a change in the in the home, or there's a change in the uh, establishment. There's an opportunity for change, and that is for sure. Now this is very fast, profound change. Something is going to happen very fast. Somebody is going to put in effort. This per and this person is going to put in a lot of effort. This person is just going to. It's almost like this person says, "You know what? I can do this. I'm going to prove to you that I can do this." So it's like somebody is is going to act. They are going to act. This is fast change. It really is. It happens fast. Now this is putting, this is investment. It's time. It's time. It is. And now this is, it's time to pick. It's time to choose. It's time to pick. So somebody is going to be making a choice with that two of wands that I saw at the beginning. They're going to be making a choice. But they've been having a hard time making this choice because of social pressure. And I think they've been dealing with some people that gave them some poor advice. And it may have been family members, may have been friends. And that has hindered their opportunity for happily ever after. Listen to yourself. Don't listen to anybody else. Listen to yourself. Follow your own gut. If you see an opportunity for happiness and you want it, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. But maybe that's a lesson somebody needs to learn. Follow your heart. We talk about this a lot. There's no heart here. Somebody is not following their heart. There's no heart here. King of Swords, this, this is cold. We have some, we have a very cold individual who is not communicating. This person hasn't been seeing a situation clearly. Um, now this is uncaring. Somebody that is uncaring. Not being logical. Not using their head. Somebody's not using their head. Refusing, refusing to listen, refusing or listening to the wrong people. Um, whew, Knight of Pentacles reverse. This is this is somebody that is unfaithful, um, greedy, not qualified, abusive. There's some sort of abuse here. There is. This is this is the abusive. I was looking at this. So this is abusive energy. This is somebody that isn't isn't practical, isn't being realistic. And this person could be abusing themselves. Like maybe they have some sort of mental conflict of their own. You know, we have somebody here that is that is very uncaring. There's a, this person is unhealthy. Okay, this is unhealthy, uncaring. Uh, this is inflexible. We we have somebody here that's not being very flexible. Uh, they don't have any long-term plan, you know, or they're in a situation where they, they there is no long-term plan. There is no long-term plan. They may be in a marriage they, or they may be in a commitment that they really, they don't see a long-term plan, but for some reason they're staying in it. There's, there's, they're, they're choosing to... Uh, give up their happiness. Somebody is giving up their happiness. Now this is frustrated. So somebody is very, very frustrated. They're frustrated because they're not, there's no love still. There's no love. There's no love here. So yeah, when you're not being loved, there's, you're absolutely going to be frustrated. So I see the ending of something. I mean, the death is an ending. It's a transformation. It's a profound change within the home or the establishment. Something is going to end. Somebody is ready to put in effort into something that they have been thinking about for a long time.
So, um, yeah, I mean, that's what I got. Be prepared to hear some sort of news because that Eight of Wands is news. There is going to be some sort of news that is arriving. It happens all of a sudden about a change, and it's a profound change. Um, somebody is like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not I'm not in love with you. I, whatever. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this. It says, I don't care. King of Swords in reverse. I don't care. I'm not, this is, I can't hold on to this. I have to let this go. Somebody is making a decision based on, you know, <laughs> unhappiness. You know, this isn't, this isn't good. Um, but it, but this is a new beginning, an ending that leads to a new beginning. So somebody is choosing to end something that involves other people okay there's at least three other people involved here that has caused somebody to be unsuccessful in love okay this these are a bunch of meddlers or people that whether it's friends or family or a third party situation there is somebody that has gotten in the way of a successful uh, relationship and there's some sort of unfinished business that needs to be dealt with. This is unfinished business. Somebody could even be leaving without saying goodbye. This is because this is, I don't care, I'm leaving. You know, no goodbye. So somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. Very suddenly, it could be very shocking. Could be a shock. Okay, so there could be a shocking uh, departure, put it that way. Um, yeah, so I mean, I don't have anything else to say other than uh, there's going to be a very fast change and there's going to be a message coming in from somebody that wants to prove themselves okay they want to put in some sort of effort or they want you to work for them or they want you you know uh, or they want to work for you or they want to work with you this person has definitely been thinking about it and they're ready this is ready and this is ready it's it's it is they're ready they're ready for this change they're ready to release and they're ready for their new life so um yeah so we have Taurus, we have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio. Um, that's what we have here. We have everybody, but that's what I see for people in particular. Um, but everybody is here because we all take, take on these traits. Uh, somebody has been uh, being stupid with the Knight of Swords reversed. They have been. They've been being stupid, but I think it's about to end. I think it's about to end. It's like, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta do, I know what I gotta do. I feel like we have somebody here that has, has been through their period of thinking and they know that it's time. They know that it's time to end this situation. Good luck.